Hey fellow explorers, it's November and you know what that means, new merchandise and food at Tokyo Disney Resort. So I'm going to take you through the today guide for Tokyo Disney Sea to show you everything that is new. And remember, you can pick these up right at the turnstiles when you come into the park because it has invaluable information and pictures about what is new at the park. It's only in Japanese, but I'm going to take you through it today. All right, explorers, let's check out what is new at Tokyo Disney Sea for the month of November. And we have here Minnie Mouse in her gorgeous winter outfit. And just like every other Today Guide, there is a hidden Mickey on here, so make sure you find it. I love how I have her position here. It looks like she has antlers in the back. <laughs> okay, we have Christmas starting at Tokyo Disney Sea. And the biggest thing this year is this brand new harbor show. So we have a new show called it's Christmas time and it's in the Mediterranean Harbor. It looks really colorful and a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I haven't seen it yet. And then of course we have the return of the nighttime show Colors of Christmas, which is done in the evening. And we have decorations all throughout the park. Lots of decorations to take in. And of course we have character greetings and special outfits. So Ariel, is meeting in her Christmas outfit and also Duffy and Shelly May. They're also meeting in their their outfits. They, they don't have a picture here for whatever reason, but they have some really cute outfits. I saw the pictures of them, so. And we have this thing called Taste of Christmas, which is a bunch of different snack foods. So I'll go over that in a moment. So we open up the day guide and there's a lot of stuff in here. Just note that the merchandise and the food is already available. So it all started on November 1st. So we'll start up here. We have this Christmas collection, which is part of the 35th anniversary. And this is available at Disney Sea and Disneyland. And it's also available at Bon Voyage. And they might have some of these items also at the Disney hotels too. All right, so the Disney collection, it's a little hard to see here, but I have a full video going in detail with this. So make sure you go check that out. These are Christmas ornaments and they all have Mickey in different costumes for the major anniversaries throughout the years. That is really cool. I really like that. And we have Mickey here in his nice little outfit. And we have some more little outfits. This is for Disney Sea. And just more merchandise, little bags and stuff. Again, I'm gonna have a full video on all of this. And we have the Snow Snow merchandise. It's also at Disney Sea. It's also at Disneyland. I love the little pass case in the middle there, the little Snow Snow. I bought that, that is probably the best thing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And there's a hood and there's a mi some mini ears. You can see how to wear it up there. There's a smartphone case and stuff too. And moving down here, the 2019 calendars are out so you can pick up a new calendar, schedule, and all that fun stuff. They also have this at Disneyland too. This almost looks like it should be for Halloween, but this is, no, this is for winter. So we got some really fluffy accessories and jackets and stuff. So there's like a, a black hood here and like really crazy colored things, mitts and earmuffs and little pouch thing. <laughs> so that is crazy. I kind, of, I kind of like the colors though. It's kind of, that's interesting. It's interesting. Okay. And we have a Duffy and Friends new Christmas merchandise. There was no Halloween merchandise this year. There was only autumn merchandise, so it wasn't specifically for Halloween, but the Duffy merchandise went on sale on November 2nd, and they got new outfits. You can see them there. That is really cute. And remember, you can get this only at Tokyo Disney Sea. So it's only inside the park there. And new outfits and stuff, and we got some new accessories, so a little, oh my goodness, these little, these toques. That's my Canadian coming out. The toques, the knit caps, whatever you want to call them. That is really adorable with the little ears. Ah, oh, I, <laughs> I think I might need that. And we have these really cute scarves that look really warm. Little candy case. And this is just a fraction of what there is. And we have the little plush badges here too. Really, really cute. And of course, we got some new food and stuff. So this stuff has been around for a little bit, except for the one up there, it says new. And these are just uh, little, little candy cases and stuff. And down here we have the Christmas specific ones. So on the left there is a raspberry and white chocolate mousse. And you get a souvenir cup. And in the middle there, you have a strawberry mousse cake. And you can get a special lunch case if you get this Cape Cod burger. 
And over here, it's just standard menu items, except for the Mickey Steamboat Willie Mickey Popcorn Bucket. It's this at Disneyland and at Disney Sea. I've been told this is going to be a regular item, so it's going to be around for a little bit. So don't worry if it sells out; it'll probably it'll probably come back because they said it's going to be around for a little bit. And it's just more 35th anniversary stuff I've covered many many times over. And we got some hot drinks because it does get a little cold in the evening, so you want something to warm yourself up. So on the left there we have the apple and cinnamon hot drink, which is my favorite. It's very basic. But it gets the job done and I love apple, I love cinnamon. And there's also this really cute snow snow cozy. You can see that there. 900 yen for the drink and the cozy, it's about $8. And then we got a selection of hot drinks. So at the top there we have the orange and pineapple hot drink. That actually sounds really good. And then on the right we have a matcha green tea latte. Cute, cute, cute. And we have alcoholic beverages down here for those of you that want a nice alcoholic beverage and the one on the left is rosé it's hot wine these are both hot and the other one is peach and it's a hot wine cocktail as it says then if we go up here we have the taste of christmas so this is all in the american waterfront so there's a bunch of snack stands there that's where a lot of them are and they just kind of go around here and you can see where the SS Columbia is and then the numbers kind of correspond there. So at the top we got the roast chicken. Ooh, that looks good with the, the baked potato and cheese sauce. That looks really nice. And then down there we got the fried chicken and waffle. Don't know what different that really is because that's a regular menu item at the Dockside Diner that just opened in August. I guess the wrapping is different? Who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out. And then we have the sausage on a bone. Hmm. Again, they just look like the same. <laughs> the same as it normally is, but with different packaging. Hey, whatever works, right? And um, they, they also show the, the cocktails I just went over too. And over here, we have the black pepper teriyaki chicken roll, which is actually quite nice. So they take chicken and roll it up and dip it in teriyaki sauce. And it looks like there's little sprinkles or something on top there. Make it very festive. And then we have the barbecue pork rice roll, which is always a winner. It's really good. And they give you the pairings that you, I guess these cocktails, like, that's how they pair them. Their, their recommendation, or in Japanese, they say osusume, which means recommendation. So different recommendations for the different cocktails there. Remember, American Waterfront. Okay, there's even more food at Tokyo Disney Sea. Let's start down here. Just like at Disneyland, we have these candy cases, really cute. One comes with jelly beans, a jelly bean type candy, and the other one comes with like, Smarties or M&M type candies, little chocolates. Over here at the Yucatan Base Camp Grill, we have this special set with Hamburg, which is essentially a uh, Salisbury steak and vegetable sauce and stuff, so that's good. And up here we have this alcoholic cocktail, so it's caramel milk cocktail with coffee jelly inside. That is right up my alley. <laughs> and that's at the Yucatan, Yucatan Base Camp Grill. Okay, I need, I, need, I need to have that. I really do. That sounds so good. And over here we have this rare cheesecake with a souvenir cup you can see there. So that's really cute. And this is the same as Disneyland, these two here. The one on the bottom is the custard cake. And it has azuki and a strawberry inside of it. Azuki is the sweet red bean. And then up top we have the chocolate and raspberry crumble cake. And they both come with souvenir items as well. And over here at Cafe Port Cafe Portofino, I almost said Cafe Port Orleans. Cafe Port Ofino. <laughs> I get my names mixed up all the time. And they have this special uh, special pasta set. They always have pasta, that's usually what they go for. And then they have this alcoholic cocktail, sparkling cocktail with yogurt and strawberry syrup inside of it. So that actually sounds really nice. And then over here, this one, I'm, I'm real keen about this one. This is at the New York Deli. And this is a camembert cheese and honey mustard chicken sandwich. Look at that, look at that, look at that cheese. I'm all about cheese and that cheese looks delicious. I cannot wait to try that, I need, I need to go try that. And then up top you can get a, for an extra 900 yen, you can get a little souvenir lunch case up at the top there. That's really nice. And then we have the chocolate churro quick pro tip for you they started making these little food and good guides so 
and they do them for two months at a time and this is in English and they have them in other languages as well so it's not as detailed as the today guide that I just went through so always grab the Japanese one because it's much more detailed but you can also grab this too just as a quick reference they as you can tell there's not a ton in here but hey it's still useful and we got some stuff in here some regular uh, food menu items like the chicken curry bun that replaced the chandu tail at Disney Sea at the Sultan's Oasis so make sure you pick it up useful information it's always good more information is better than none for closures at Tokyo Disney Sea we have a couple da -da -da. so we have 20,000 leagues under the sea which is closed from November 5th through November 23rd then we have the Mermaid Lagoon Theater which is King Triton's concert it is closed November 15th through December 5th then finally we have Raging Spirits which closes November 26th through December 25th so there you go those are the closures for Tokyo Disney Sea all right, Dog Sports, thank you so much for joining me as I showed you what's new here at Tokyo Disney Sea. And remember to pick up one of these when you go through the turnstiles coming into the park. The information here is invaluable. If you're buying a trip to Tokyo Disney Resort, make sure you check out our ebook at tdrxport.com slash ebook. It has everything you need to know to plan the perfect trip to Tokyo Disney Resort. I love this guy so much. <laughs> All right, Explorers, until next time, 